Hello, everybody. Welcome to the fourth and last episode of our webinar. In the last two episodes, uh, we introduced uh, PVD technologies uh, and materials properties uh, related to them, but also we spoke about uh, TPD nano coatings uh, offered by Optitune and uh, with a particular stress towards uh, the TPD series. Today's episode uh, would be uh, about uh, these two treatments together. So in terms uh, of PVD coatings, so we explored uh, some interesting materials properties when uh, speaking about uh, decofunctional applications. We also made a difference between uh, evaporation and sputtering techniques, and uh, we expressed interesting and insightful market considerations at a global level. When uh, uh, dealing with the uh, Optitune's nano coatings, uh, we um, pointed out that uh, the primary purpose of our treatments is to make surfaces durable by providing them with the uh, abrasion resistance, uh, olefobicity, hydrophobicity, and uh, easiness to clean properties as well. The process uh, uh, that involves uh, the application of our treatments is also uh, pretty much straightforward and uh, it can be uh, easily scaled up as well. So in the first place, one should wonder why should we combine these two treatments together? Well, uh, it's true that uh, decofunctional PVD coatings are interesting in terms of their performances and also aesthetical appeal. But on the other hand, there are many PVD coatings in this regard that exhibit high surface energies. And this means that they can be easily stained uh, by fingertips for example, and uh, cleaning them thoroughly after that can be uh, challenging. As a matter of fact, uh, they could require intensive rubbing or the usage uh, of aggressive chemicals, uh, which by the way, could chemically attack the surface itself. And uh, on the other hand, uh, it's true that uh, uh, PVD coatings uh, can be also envisaged and tailored for some uh, corrosive uh, applications, so anti-corrosive uh, applications. Um, however, this is really up to uh, their chemical composition, for example, but uh, it's also uh, up to the roughness of the film as well. As a matter of fact, uh, the rougher a PVD coating, uh, the more capillaries it has got. And capillaries uh, usually behave uh, as privileged points uh, to initiate chemical corrosion. Also, PVD coatings uh, um, can be tailored uh, in order to be abrasion resistant. However, on the other hand, uh, this uh, boils down again to their chemical composition. One may wonder, uh, are these uh, two treatments really compatible? Our answer is yes, we proved it in our laboratories, and uh, we have uh, seen that uh, PVD coated items exhibit a certain roughness. And this, uh, on the one hand, uh, can be a drawback, but uh, on the other hand, for our applications, uh, it's uh, a good thing because uh, uh, it eases the adhesion of our nano coating also, PVD coatings um, are really suitable and are a good fit for all uh, process steps in uh, the application of our nano coatings. Uh, of course, it's also true that uh, uh, the TPD series products and in general our nano coatings uh, uh, may need uh, uh, a material uh, that uh, is a good fit for them as well in terms uh, of uh, the degree of purity, for example, so um, the surface should not have uh, any high degree of uh, contaminants or pollutants, uh, which, by the way, should be easily removed uh, uh, by ordinary cleaning uh, procedures implemented uh, at an industrial level. Also, it's important to note that uh, uh, the PVD coating for optimal application of uh, our treatments should be um, the most uniform. So uh, this means that 
uh, the degree of defects uh, should be lowest. Well, it's true that uh, on the market uh, there are at large uh, uh, coatings uh, that can be produced uh, through through PVD techniques, uh, for example, uh, uh, PVD evaporation technologies that can provide uh, anti fingerprint, easy to clean, anti abrasion uh, properties uh, to these materials. Uh, however, um, well, we point out that uh, um, TPD nano coatings uh, offered by Optitune perform uh, generally better than these treatments, and this. Um, is due to the fact that uh, evaporation techniques uh, usually uh, applied uh, with PVD coatings uh, are uh, a good way to obtain uh, uh, rough and uh, let's say porous coatings and uh, this could potentially sacrifice uh, important properties like for example uh, corrosion resistance but also oleophobicity and hydrophobicity when working with uh, evaporation as we could see in this second episode as well the thickness uh, control uh, is not so good as a matter of fact uh, we have uh, high productive outputs but uh, we work with high energies. It's also generally challenging to obtain uh, PVD coatings that are transparent uh, as well. And the process uh, in general uh, may be more demanding in terms uh, of uh, complexity of parameters. So uh, what are some suitable applications of this uh, combination between uh, the treatments? Uh, First of all, uh, in terms of kitchen and home appliances, there is huge potential. As a matter of fact, uh, we are speaking about uh, surfaces and objects that are exposed uh, generally uh, to intensive usage uh, on a daily basis. And this means that uh, uh, taking care of uh, the aesthetics and performance of these materials is uh, strictly important and making them durable is uh, as well essential. Another interesting field uh, is uh, uh, related to fashion accessories. For example, when uh, uh, we work, uh, for instance, uh, with glasses and sunglasses too, the combination uh, between uh, um, the TPD coatings uh, and, uh, let's say, optical nano coatings uh, uh, that are offered uh, in uh, the portfolio of uh, our company could be, of course, uh, uh, really interesting in terms uh, not only of uh, anti fingerprint uh, abrasion resistant properties, but also in terms uh, of uh, uh, enriching the optical properties of uh, these items. Another interesting application is uh, relating to automotive parts both for internal and uh, external uh, parts of uh, cars and uh, vehicles uh, in general. I hope that uh, this uh, webinar has sparked uh, your interest. If you want to take a look at uh, our website, as you can see here, uh, please uh, Google uh, www.optitune.com and uh, you can uh, email us as well. And uh, uh, you may want to take a look at our YouTube channel as well. So uh, we are always uh, keen uh, to speak with you and uh, uh, to learn, uh, of course, about your company and the potential about new collaborations as well. Thank you so much for your attention and I wish you all a good day.